Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Uh, this is not a loop suddenly. Eh? <laughs> my recording uh, stopped because my storage was full. So this is the second part. Eh? I guess I'm doing this part again. God damn it, space. I could have finished it. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe there's too much more. Let's see. You're back! Okay, so but... Ling, are you ready to take your sub -series? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what did I pick? Dreams with no human presence. And those spaces remind. Uh huh. I forgot what did I pick just now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. People in Sumeru think they don't dream, but the truth is the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. Correct answer. Now. How did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? I'm not sure if this was included in the f in the part where I was recording this, so I know the answer already now. Oh, okay. Those dream-controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams too. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. And the fact they that no one dreams is dreams. a blessing not from delusions. Greater Lord Ruka they are Divana. using them. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick? The real story is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the samsara? Mass production of dreams. Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus Festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another Samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus Festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory. And the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay, so that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this dream doesn't do anything! Mm, okay. Alright, last question. Who am I? <laughs> do you really have to pick the moon? Illusions and why oh, wait, they're the same thing, isn't it? No? They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? Yeah. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting at the sage's deception of Sumeru's people? <laughs> so you noticed. Uh -huh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That is the easiest. That's why I couldn't last. <laughs>
like yeah, we this. have a lot of questions, but doesn't seem like a good time. Yeah, because uh, Dunya's art, yeah. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Why couldn't you simply tell us the truth? How did the sages manage to keep people from noticing this about the side effects of a mass produced dream? Why is the dream about the sub Zerus festival? We're gonna ask all of them. First one. You asked me this question before. My answer yeah. was, it would literally blow your mind. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, you your believe. notion of reality oh. and dream would be thrown into <laughs> irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. I think this is how the story Archon Quest is gonna be too. Where is our <laughs> users shouldn't know straight away. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. It's just like education when you <laughs> when you're teaching some uh some student on uh how to solve this question, I don't tell them the answer, I just give them a hint. Very clever. Okay, next one. Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this sub festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. Mm -hmm. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the sub festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon! Traveler had a dream when we were in the yes. Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. Ooh. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in the sub Festival Samsara, while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Okay. Side effects of a mess. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Mm -hmm. Will it ever end? And if so, when? We might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate, especially those whose health is compromised to begin with, like Dunyarzad. Uh. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! And why is it the sub Festival? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my <laughs> birthday? Right. Could it really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? Wow, now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Why cancel the... Sub Zerus Festival, the Grand Sage. That's not a question. Do you have any information? The Grand Sage's speech. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Yeah. Did he mean something more? I'm pretty sure this is the conclusion, but I want to read the rest. And those spaces remind okay, me the of... same, 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 same. Okay. Nahi same, okay. Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean? Oh, that was all. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the sub festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous! In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. 
The previous son is long gone. The previous archon. A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking in riddles again. Another beat. Oh, we're out of time today. I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. <sighs> okay. It's still going. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, four. Good morning, Nahida. Uh, wait, now that Paimon remembers everything, should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. Oh no. Oh no. I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Already disappear? No way. Are are we too late? The real Dunyarizad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Paimon can't believe it. Wait. So what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she also going to disappear? She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just their as filler. You no, know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, mm. she's still... Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris Festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the Subzeris Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Mm -hmm. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really will bring you gold and mora. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. So we find the host then what? Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. 
Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. So it's someone's dreaming that... How are we going to find them, Ooh, though? It... If it could be anyone, it'd be yeah. like looking for a needle in a haystack. I wonder if it's... Nilo. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to Wait. make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't, don't make a sleepwalker. sleepwalker. Yeah. It's extremely difficult, how yes. Do find... But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Hurry and go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Oh. Paimon's still a little upset that we've come this far only for <sighs> Dinyar's odd to... She was such a good person, with such a simple wish. But fate was against her. Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? They'll probably become aware that they were dreaming. An unsuspecting host will be less likely to realize there is a dream. Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida and us. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Faris, the Knight of Flowers? The one with the strange getup. I think it's Faris. For people who think it's him, it's him that's him. Oh my gosh, how long more is this? We, we just figured out what is this samsara. And it's still not over. This is a long one. in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Uh, would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you make a wish? Imagine your wish coming true before your very eyes. You want me oh. to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zerus festival tradition or something? Let's go! <laughs> okay. Wish for your okay. five star. <laughs> my wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous saying this uh, out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> uh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub -Zerus festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her knight of flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <sighs> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. 
please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Oh! You're... What? Huh? Fucky? <laughs> Sorry, but only one portion of Yelda <laughs> candies per person. Back home you go. God damn it. <laughs> Surprise me. <sighs> nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. So, who is... Who are we looking for next? Hmm? It seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. <gasps> Deya, right. Deya is protecting her. That sounds like Deya! Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. But... I don't think it's Dia. This guy's a game. Oh. Oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take. Yeah, leave these guys to me. Hey, this is my job. <laughs> the homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You... Ugh, fine, alright. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyway, watch yourself. So it's Deja. Because... So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're going down. Let's go. Finally, some battle. <laughs> New punts are about to get dicey. Let's go. Scatter! Terminate! Okay. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? <sighs> you and Nahida both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh, and speaking of her, Paima just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. Yes. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub Zero's festival. Yeah. Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack, sir. This is the place! It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures! Hey, the windows are unlocked! Okay, uh, <laughs> Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Okay, carrying something. This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? An elegantly written note. I was able to finally to get these notes be written before the sub -series. You and Paimon will probably continue the journey immediately, so I was hoping I would give this to you before that. This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Nasalot Kusanari. Uh huh. Gandava Ville's water supply was once contaminated, forcing everyone to go very far out to get water. But one day, people found that the water was drinkable again. A green light was seen near the water source. Everyone believes that this was the divine power of Nesalok Kusanari. Did Nesalok Kusanari appear in Gandava Ville? 
I was super afraid the dark and couldn't see. Must have been watching over me. Too much to dream. This one I saw. She was very tall, had the most mus. She was very tall and had the most muscular arms. Um, that doesn't sound like. <laughs> And she caught me when I sleep and fell. That's money I found myself sleeping under a tree. Wow. Junior's out wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were awake. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. <sighs> hey! Where are you off to now? You're gonna make travel even more angry now. Talk to Dunyaza with a double. Okay. Guess we're talking to the puppet Dunyaza. Seeing out loud. Traveler. Mm. You must be exhausted. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really <sighs> long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Ten Years Odd feels like an eternity ago. Yeah. How long has it been since I started playing this Archon Quest? Oh my gosh. It's already night. Hmm. Paimon still remembers when we were sitting here. And the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Mm -hmm. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh, so she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... Not leave behind any regrets. What? Where are we going this time? To watch the dancers of Cerus. Are we actually watching the dancers of Cerus? Rebooting. Re Rebooting? Catherine? <laughs> We're still, we're still gonna do it nonetheless, right? If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? Traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the Academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Traveler? Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the Academia, that's another day gone to waste! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait! They're not reacting! Have they been scared stiff? 
their puppets. Yeah, because it can't be them if they are doing this every single day. Oh, of course! If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. So they're just substitutes. What is this? What happened to oh, the Grand Sage and his entourage? Huh? What's up with these flowers? Oh, no, they're there. This symbolizes the goddess of flowers. The goddess of flowers. Uh -huh. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yes. The greater lord brought forth new Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. I remember that. Beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Down your Zod, did you find these? So they are real Padisaras. But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So how? Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, huh? Imagine that the Grand Sage... It is Nilo then! Imagine that the Grand Sage and his entourage are not here in front of you. You guys are acting weird. But okay, I'll try. Hmm. Hey! They disappeared! Nilo's the so host. The host. <laughs> it was right. Come to that conclusion. <laughs> so I'm right. Is this lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzerus festival? Wrong guess, but you no. ain't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this is a dream? <laughs> oh, now it's hurting. <laughs> Wait, does that mean 
Are we gonna see the substairs dance? Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of Substairs as beautiful as we can. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> So we finally out from the samsara. It's not touring the sub Zero's festival anymore. The sub Zero's festival! Have we finally escaped from the sub Zero Samsara? Quick! Take off your Akasha terminal! At the end of the dance, I think I saw. Let's see Dunya's art. Wait. Yeah, we did saw Dunya's art. But. This oh wait. Well done, traveler in Paimon. That voice, Nahida and Catherine. <laughs> She's using Catherine. And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subsaris Festival for me. I'm sorry, who are... A constellation, okay. Talk to Catherine. This is still Act 2 though. Um Yeah what wait how how wait what Catherine? Or should I say You're actually Nishida, aren't yeah, you? That voice. Did you save her? It's a real 
really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. What the? Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm. How about by the traveler's favorite bench? <laughs> okay. What's going on? Why are you two so excited to see me? <laughs> Hasn't it only been a night? It's actually been much longer than that. <laughs> oh? Strange. Was I really asleep that long? No wonder I have such a headache. I need an explanation about this. Where is Naida? Take it easy. I could have just used a waypoint. Ah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing I want to know. What just happened? After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the Traveler had described. Uh -huh. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end! Oh. Not a moment too soon! Yeah, that's a miracle. I didn't expect that. Start crying. Uh, I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions yes, for me, right? Yes, still a lot of questions. After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. Why isn't asking for the twin sister a question? <laughs> okay. At the fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree and a red sky you also heard someone's voice right it's said yes we'll forget me and forget me yeah so you do know we've been wanting to ask you what that was about and if the red sky was related to conria hmm it seems like the traveler established a connection to ermin soul that was a message left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermin's soul. Mm -hmm. so it was her, her last memory before she died. Her last memory. But why As you two it? probably know, Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. Yes. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King. The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, okay. so what does the message mean? Yeah. Uh, I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even she doesn't know. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermin Soul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. Like the rate. I've warned the academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. Reminds me of the rate divine knowledge capsule. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermin's soul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermin's soul? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tainari also said that Ermin's soul is sick. We know that is it really. because of the contaminated consciousness? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our 
our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Soul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate, as well as Tavat's. <sighs> okay, so next question. Why using Catherine? To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you so do Catherine that? is not Where's conscious at the moment. Enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. But doesn't take over like Catherine, right? You just can hear like in the golden apple. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Mm. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha terminal, my consciousness has always Akasha been linked Akasha to the terminal. Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this Bionic Snishnayan Puppet. Bionic Snishnayan Puppet. Well, well, well. That explains the keyhole behind. It's a puppet too. Uh, uh, no surprise there. <laughs> kind of Did we new. just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is... Catherine is a puppet. No. That's why she's everywhere. I felt something was off about her. begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, mm -hmm. the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. Did you see the However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata instead of me. A symbol of her passing. So the sages basically put their new archon under house arrest? <laughs> How dare they! Why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I. I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub Festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Ermansoul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. So right now she's still in there. In that whatever Surastana thing. She's using this Catherine to... Okay. Every once in a while... I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. See, just plan. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the Subzeru Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon. In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, okay. make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. No one has realized the issue with the Akasha? You mean, 
seen how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the Sage's misdirection. Misdirection? No, it is not something... To... The Sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru, even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the Sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Ruka Devata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Okay, I think that's all. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Good. <laughs> Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. What is actually her birthday? I wonder. <sighs> wow. Traveler? Paimon? Oh, Catherine's Why back. am I here? Do either of you know? I? Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. <laughs> we, uh, we happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Maintenance personnel? Oh, I'm fine. I better go. That's Thank another. you. Okay. Ah, it's over. It's over. Okay. New quest. God damn it. Okay. Anyway, finally, Archon Quest Chapter Three Act Two done. From oh, four p.m. It was almost eight p.m. Oh I my god. I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like the situation. I didn't expect it to be this long. I'm glad I did it at this time. Ah, yeah, but too bad it's split it into two parts. Ah, sure, whatever. Alright, guys, I'm done with <laughs> Act 2. I got uh, QQ Cinnamon to play in five minutes. Oh my god, but I'm so exhausted. <laughs> uh, whatever. Alright, guys, that's it for this long video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.